What is up, guys? It's new vlog time. <laughs> Gosh, I feel like it's been a minute. Yeah, for sure. So, we wanted to update you on a few things that have happened. What are we doing? What do we got going on? We have a lot going on, actually. <laughs> a lot going on. Yeah, it's been crazy. So, bear but, with us. Yes. We're going to try to rewind and then play it back forward. So the last time you guys saw our beautiful faces, we were in Zion National Park and just finished up hiking Angel's Landing, which was phenomenal. Yeah, it was epic. And you've now seen the video to it. Um, so that's really cool. Mm -hmm. But that's really like how far it's been back since me and her have been behind the camera. <laughs> so we're kind of looking forward to this today. Yes, super looking forward to but it. But how do we bring you back up to where we are now? Right, so we're just gonna start off where we left off with you. And so when we left Zion, the last time you seen the video, we said goodbye to our new friends, Jack and Emma, which you probably just watched their last video. We did a story on them. They are an amazing young couple and they are going to do great things. Um, we also had some other friends that went to Angel's Landing with us. Um, Brian and David and Carmi. Yep. And they took off and went to the Grand Canyon and then on to, which one is it? Yosemite. Yosemite and National Park. And I was Park. so disappointed. I wanted to go. The green, the mint green Lucille almost said it to Yosemite, <laughs> but we had other plans and we had uh, obligations. So we headed towards our obligations. Right. Which means... Well, we headed south. So we took off and we headed towards Lake Powell. We didn't really have much of an agenda. We just knew where we needed to go. And so we picked, why not go to Lake Powell? Um, we went there last year, just briefly, when we went to go check out Paige and- Horseshoe Bend. Horseshoe Bend. All that. So, but we didn't really go in and actually get to see Lake Powell. So. We decided let's let's take it in, and we had our beautiful uh, national state park pass. National, national reservoir <laughs> park pass. <laughs> no, our, our national park pass. Yes, that um, got us in, and so once we got to Lake Powell, we decided why not take a dip in the lake. Sure. Yeah, it was hot. Um, it was refreshing. We hadn't been in a shower, like submerged in water. In a uh, minute. Yeah, in a hot minute. So <laughs> it was nice. The lake was the lake was really nice. Mm -hmm. the, there wasn't very many people there. It was kind of like we had Lake Powell to ourselves. Right, and it was so beautiful. Like looking at glass. Um, I will post a picture so you can see it. How magnificent it is. Sure. Um, so once we were finished there, we used our trusty old app i overlander and we found ourselves a place to camp for the night literally right across the lake with 360 degree views it was epic it was beautiful had a campfire mm -hmm. did the whole thing made up some good food had some good conversation and just enjoyed each other's time and, and presence yeah so then we decided we had this crazy idea like why not just get up in the morning and go for a run Whew. Just got done running six laps up to the top in sand. Whew. Brutal. And if you've never ran in sand before, I encourage you to never try it. Yeah. Well, maybe you gotta try no, it. No, yeah, for sure. It, it's, it's good for you. It's definitely different. Yeah, um, for sure. I was sore for days. Um, after that, we decided we wanted to get one last shower. Um, or bath, if you call it. So we went back to Lake Powell. This time it was eight in the morning. The sun was pushing the cold weather down. We we were sweating from running. And so we thought, oh, this will be a good idea. But we had to drive like five minutes just to get there. And then you have to walk like, it seemed like a mile just to yeah. get to the lake. And it was frigid cold yeah i mean and this time i was like oh i'm gonna wash my hair in the lake because that seemed like a good idea and, and none of that was even <laughs> the bad part it was when we were done and you had to walk back yeah the funny thing is so we we jumped into the lake and then we came back out and then we got ourselves all soaked up with our biodegradable soap so we're not hurting the environment and then it was freezing so then we jumped back into the lake to rinse everything off and the lake was warmer than the temperature outside yeah and then, like he said, we had to walk about that mile back, freezing wet, cold, wet, breezy. hair, yeah, yeah, 
it, it was, was miserable. <laughs> it was, but it was a good way to wake ourselves up in the morning. Yeah, we didn't need coffee, but we had some. Yeah. Um, from there, we headed to Sedona. Mm -hmm. And Sedona, it was always on our list. It was always on our things to do. Yep. And mm -hmm. Sedona was different. It was different. It was beautiful. It was um, most definitely beautiful. Love the Red Rocks. The whole area is just, it's captivating. It, it's so beautiful. Um, the only thing we didn't like is we went on two major hikes, three major hikes. Three major hikes. And two of them, you literally have to go like through the millionaire's streets and backyards. You have to go into like their gated community just to get to the places to park so you can go hike. And... Which, it wasn't bad, like, the first night we were there. Um, when we got to Sedona, we made it just in time to climb up to the, the cathedral, cathedral um, where watch we watched the sun. The sun. Yeah, and that, I, I highly encourage that if you go to Sedona, make that one of your top things to do. It's yeah, for sure. absolutely beautiful. Um, but we realized that we were, like, in the backside of people's backyards. Literally. And then that night, we there was nowhere to park, like, unless you drove quite a few miles away to be out in nature. So we ended up having to stay in town, which was they fine. They did have parking for us from yeah. iOverlander, but it, yeah, we were in town. So it's just a little different. You, you get a little more quiet and yeah, things like that. A little bit more low key. Yep. So then we took off in the morning. Um, Dustin was so nice and let me sleep. And it was the roughest. Yeah, it was. Roads. It was crappy though because we ended up in a, in a literally like a gated community, and it didn't open until eight. And so I drove like fifteen miles to get there. So then I found another route, and I drove fifteen miles, basically right back where I just drove, and then like another ten miles to get to this other way to get to the trail that I was headed to. And so the gated community like millionaire mile stuff was it was weird to me like we were driving around in these people's you know drives it, it was just weird soldiers pass was amazing uh we actually found i was doing a little bit of research online and found that there is this cave this hidden cave there's really not a trail to it um so dustin ended up finding like the coordinates to get us to where the trail kind of starts and then Ping. Yeah, and then so you have like the flat rock where you're not really sure where you're supposed to go to get there. But this cave was amazing. Like yeah. it was like an arch, but then there was splits in the in between it and you can go like up inside and climb. It was so cool. Yeah, definitely probably the favorite. Yeah, part. I think it was called Soldier's Cave. Sure. Uh, but yeah, totally awesome. Uh, there was a couple other things like the seven dirty pools or something that was seven, yeah, really lame yeah. um but what was the huge uh sinkhole i think it was called devil's kitchen devil's kitchen yeah there yeah. was this huge sinkhole and it was last active in like 1996 or 95 mm -hmm. or something so yeah that was really cool to literally be standing like right next to a sinkhole that was still active um, massive yeah huge hole um so yeah that hike was super awesome. We had some really good conversation. We did the whole exploring on our own, which probably took like another hour because yeah, there's no trails. There's no, like you're on your own when right. you go back to the soldier's cave. And we're really notorious for that, like finding our own trails and just like venturing off and finding our own adventure. It's we like we to do. take our own path, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, after we were finished with that hike, we, we wanted to do Devil's Bridge, but it's just so pat and like we couldn't take the bus there so we had to hike a, like extra two, uh, two more miles but each way or something yeah we, never so even we, went and looked at we it. decided to just bypass that um but then we did go check out bell rock i wanted to check it out because of the whole there's a vortex there and i wanted to see if i could feel it did you um i felt s some small like pull of energy but it was nothing significant um i didn't feel nothing but it was calming, relaxing, soothing. We mm -hmm. just watched traffic go by for a while. And yeah. then we headed our way on out of town. Yep. In and which so, we headed where? And from there, we headed to Pine. Pine, Arizona. Yeah. Um, which we had been in that area last year with Dustin's cousin, Ryan. And so we were kind of familiar with the area. And we actually ended up camping in... Um, 
this little park that was actually like just down the road from a place that we went to go eat last year. Yeah, so we were comfortable. Very comfortable. Um, and we, again, we just built a fire and hung out, ate dinner. We have refixed their fire pit. We did. Because it was real crappy. So we fixed it up real nice for them. And mm -hmm. that's our way of giving back, I guess. Right. Um, and then, yeah. Then yeah. what? Then we got up the next morning. <laughs> We drove from Pine to Payson and then Payson to whatever, whatever. And we ended up in Sholo, Arizona, where we have been for like a month, a month in two weeks, I think. Yeah. So almost six weeks. And I know we haven't shared any of this with you. I know this is mind blowing and crazy, but there is a means to our madness. Yes. Um, Part of it we're sitting on. Yes. Part of it we're staring at right now. Do you guys see it? Oh, no, you don't see it? Oh, God, it's That's because we're not ready to show you yet. <laughs> but anyway, our whole point when we got here was we had some work that we needed to get done, not just on the bus, but with our companies as well, um, with our nutrition and fitness company, Sunrise Nutrition and Fitness, and as well with you guys, Road Trip and Venture. So we have some things that we've been working on and getting things in the works and making some adjustments. And it was just kind of a time for us to just catch up, catch up on things because it's been much needed. Sure. So in the meantime, we've been building a few things here and there, and we will like, be showing like you. Like daily. We've been working our butts off on the bus. Has it been daily? But we're not going to show you that yet. No, that will be probably next week's video for you because I can't contain it anymore. And I'm, done. Yeah. I'm so excited to share it with you and show you. So um, it's came a long ways. It has. It has. It's starting to feel a lot more like home. Yeah. Home and it's not so parking. cluttered. It's it's really good. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, we did make a trip down to Phoenix, Arizona, and we actually went and spent some time with his cousin Ryan and his family. And it was a really good time just to, I think we hadn't really seen family in a while. And so to actually go and spend some time with family um, and Be go to, yeah, whatever, you know, go eat. to a place that we've never been. We've both been kind of wanting to go to Phoenix, just, I mean, just to go. And part of it is because we wanted to see the Seguros, Seguros? I don't remember, the cactuses. Uh, the huge cactuses. <laughs> so I used to make like cactus art. Um, I'd weld a bunch of these half circle things together and then make like a cool cactus out of them. So I think I made three, one, uh, three of them, yeah. one big, one medium and one really small. Mm -hmm. And there's some people that are probably watching that has one of them. And mm -hmm. yeah, it was cool to actually see them because we'd never seen them before. Mm -hmm. we like, you know, you just like the Tom and Jerry or whatever. But yeah, I'd never seen an actual full size cactus before. No, it was pretty fascinating. Yeah. Um, played some top golf. First time I ever did that. So that was pretty exciting. And I'm terrible. So it was fun though. <laughs> but I'm terrible. Let me tell you. Yeah, it's fun. It is. Um, yeah, but we just chilled, swam, went golfing, checked some stuff out, took the city in. Connected with family. And yeah. It was really good. So They got some young kids and we were able to do some chalk art and some... Yeah. All right, kinds of yeah, fun stuff. And, they, and boy, <laughs> let me tell you, they absolutely loved the bus. Oh, yeah. So we actually, uh, one of the girls, or the girl, the young girl, she does gymnastics um, so we went and actually watched her do her gymnastics class and yeah. we got a sticker and let her put it up in the bus. Yeah. And then she drew Dustin and I a bus. So that was really sweet of her to do that. And, um, yes, obviously we put it up in our bus and it makes us smile every time we see it. And she did a really great job. I mean, she picked everything out so it matched the bus and um it's nice it is very nice so with that then what did we do from there we went to salt lake city utah <laughs> we spent a weekend with some much needed friends and family i'm gonna call them not I'm blood family, family but they are most definitely our family um, some great people. We had an awesome weekend. We ate some food. We had some fun. We had some laughs. We did some soul searching. We spread some, some love. Yeah, it was it absolutely was... amazing. 
And for those of you who were part of that, we appreciate you. Thank you. And we will never forget that weekend. Ever. We actually rented a freaking car, drove this little Toyota Camry all the way to Salt Lake City and back. It's like felt like driving a go kart at yeah. first because we were so low to the ground. It's like nine and a half hours one way. It was, by the time we got a rental car, it was way cheaper than to take the bus. So we stayed in a couple motels, stayed at a couple friends' house, and just absolutely had an epic ass weekend. But it was what we needed. It was. So now we're back in Sholo. <laughs> we are here for a few more weeks. Yes. And we have a ton of stuff that we're going to share with you. But you're going to have to wait. Not today. So with that, um, I know this is probably a lot to absorb. Um, and we apologize for being uh, letting the time go by so fast so much that we we didn't keep you as updated um but we just kind of needed uh, some time to get some things done and um we're excited to be back and from here on out you better believe that there's gonna be some, some bus building there's gonna be some <laughs> craziness changes. so with that we hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you love watching our content or if you just love us in general. How can you not? <laughs> and um, if you hit the notification bell, you will get a notification every time that we drop a new video, which is Ding! every Sunday. So with that, we love you all. Thank you so much. And we will talk to you later. Spread love. Bye, guys.